Meverse was one of the most clunky, outdated social medias when it came out, but you can't not love it. Hello guys, welcome, and today I'm going to be exploring the Meverse iceberg, particularly this one. If you're watching this, you probably already know how this goes, so I'm just going to get a few things out of the way. First of all, I am feeling pretty confident in a lot of my explanations, but if I do get something wrong or miss something, please just let me know in the comments. Second, since Meverse is a closed site, not all of this has been archived, so for some sections I'm just going to have to put some unrelated gameplay. Sorry about that. But with all that out of the way, let's just get to what you're here for. Shut down on November 7th slash 8th. Meverse shut down worldwide on November in 2017. It was either on the 7th or 8th, depending on your time zone. Redesign. Meverse received a redesign on July 29th, 2015. This update did add play journals and specific sections for drawings and screenshots, but limiting users to 30 posts a day was not a popular move. Splatoon Plaza. It's actually called Encopolis Plaza, but whatever. It serves as the hub of Splatoon and allows Meverse posts to be shared. Role playing. Just like any social media with kids, this place was a breeding ground for all kinds of role plays. Code of Conduct. The Code of Conduct was just the general rule list for Meverse. No swearing, no bullying, all that sort of stuff. New Super Luigi U. For some reason, the New Super Luigi U community on Meverse was particularly wild. Trust me, this is not the last time you'll be hearing about this community on this iceberg. Admins. The admins on Meverse most likely consisted of both humans and bots, and they were also well known for being overly strict and sometimes just banning people for no reason. Soot House. Soot House is a YouTube channel that explores strange threads from across the internet. Their most viewed video is about Meverse. Zelda Community. The Zelda community on Meverse was obviously a place for people to discuss Legend of Zelda, but also could feature off-topic posts, which comes into play later. Smash 4 Stage. Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U had a stage based off of Meverse, in which posts that users create would appear in the background. This was amazing. YouTube Community. The YouTube Community was a bit like New Super Luigi U Community in that it was just kind of a bunch of random nonsense. Except there was an added bonus of more role playing here. Online Daters. People dated on this site. I don't, I don't need to go any further. Pick of the day. For every day until the release of Super Smash Bros. Wii U, Masahiro Sakurai would show off a new screenshot for the upcoming game in the Super Smash Bros. community. Giga Gambi. Giga Gambi is a YouTuber who compiled some of the greatest hits of Miiverse. This is absolutely top tier content, I'd recommend it any day. Clans slash groups. People just formed clans on Miiverse and fought with each other. <laughs> That's it. Mitomo. Mitomo was pretty much the spiritual successor to Miiverse, except this time you could answer questions in the most vile way imaginable and not get banned. And it also shut down too, so it's got that going for it. Mario Wii U. Mario Wii U was a user who just commented on how good water looks in every game he played. Like, is, is this guy okay? Is he dehydrated? Tom and Amy. Tom and Amy were both verified Meverse users, but it wasn't clear if they were real people. Basically, Amy posted Tom's QR code for Tomodachi Life on Meverse, and naturally they were shipped. We Fit You Community. After the Super Smash Bros. series community became the Super Smash Bros. for 3DS community, a lot of the quote unquote smashers were just searching for a place to shitpost, and We Fit You just happened to be a popular destination. You didn't even have to own the game to post stuff in the We Fit You community. Bigly. 
Bigly is a famous Miiverse drawing that parodies the haha, Ridley too big to get in Smash meme. I like his beak though. RP trolling. Roleplay trolling is the simple practice of entering a roleplay just to mess with the people who are taking it seriously. Drama. It's stated pretty vaguely here, but as one can imagine, with clans comes drama. Original Smash Community. The original Smash community is mostly known for their off-topic posts and their eventual migration when their community would no longer allow such off-topic posts. We Sports Club Communities Players were able to represent different countries in We Sports Club, and this just kind of fueled the fire for the whole clan slash group mentality. Zelda vs Smash Smashers just wanted to shitpost, and Zelda fans just wanted to talk about Zelda. Smash invaded the Zelda community, and you can imagine how that turned out. A war with no guns, but lots of report buttons. Yeah, bombing. Yeahs are me versus equivalent to likes, and the practice of yeah bombing involves someone scrolling through a community and pressing yeah on every post they see. It was usually done just so they can get followers. Meme run. This game you see right here, it costed $5, and it was on the Nintendo eShop. It didn't last long before copyright got it taken down, but just the fact that it existed on the Nintendo eShop was mesmerizing. Mario Man 57. Mario Man 57 was an infamous user on Miiverse who hated admins as most of his posts would just contain tons of profanity. Needless to say, he was banned on most of his accounts. Thank you, Collage. Before Miiverse's closing, Nintendo hosted a community to where users could share their final drawings. Some of those drawings were featured in this collage to pay tribute to Miiverse. Miiverse clones. After Miiverse shut down, a lot of people wanted to recreate the same magic that Miiverse had. This resulted in a lot of clones, with Closedverse and Xboxverse being some of the more well-known. Shrek. It was 2013-2014. Drawings of Shrek were basically everywhere. People also asked Sakurai to put Shrek into Smash, but I've honestly just seen that everywhere. Meme Senpai. I couldn't find a whole lot on this guy, but from what I hear, he was a pretty popular user that eventually kind of became a troll. Le Perle de Miiverse. I probably pronounced that horribly, but it's basically just Giga Gambi's concept, but in Spanish. Project M. Project M is a very popular Super Smash Bros. Brawl mod, and people would get banned from Miiverse by just mentioning it. This isn't really surprising at all considering how Nintendo handles fan-made content. Bikini Day. From what I understand, it wasn't a specific day, but it was just an excuse to post lewd Nintendo characters. Miiverse Prom Miiverse Prom is an event in which the hashtag TrySmashTube group formed an alliance between the Smashers, Hylians, and YouTubers. The goal was to stop all future wars, but this was more of a temporary solution. Miiverse admins are bots. With admins particularly targeting people who have already violated the code of conduct, as well as mass flagging, a lot of people believe that the admins are actually bots. Arian Cordy and PF2M Both of these users share a history, as PF2M created the first Miiverse clone ever, Openverse, which inspired Cordy to create Grape, which eventually took him to his biggest project, Closedverse. Archiveverse as the name suggests, Archiveverse is an archive of Miiverse. About 17 terabytes worth of content on Miiverse was actually saved. Me King. Me King was a user who would always force people to stay on topic. He founded Luigiism, which will be discussed a bit later, and he also has his own saga in the Shaq's Day Out lore. Talon. Talon is a somewhat famous user on Miiverse who started his career from an unjust ban. Talon would engage in many raids, vehemently breaking the code of conduct. He also paired up with Arian Cordy, using scripts to further mess with Miiverse. 
I don't speak watermelon. This is a reference to a specific post featured in one of Giga Gamby's Miiverse series. Giga Gamby himself even made a movie trailer with the same name, but the full release never saw the light of day. Final Day Hack Slash Porn Raid I feel like this one's pretty self-explanatory. With the end of times comes many desires waiting to be fulfilled. NSLUC Hack this was a hack that occurred in the new Super Luigi U community in December of 2016. It involved the community banner changing to a picture of Robbie Rotten. Le Miiverse Resource This was the first well-known Miiverse wiki. It was even raided multiple times by users like Talon and Arian Cordy. Yeah, Angel. This user created the most popular post in the new Super Luigi U community, which was basically just this. Phantasma Phantasma was an infamous Miiverse user who started many clans. She's become known for general trolling, being a furry, and just saying nya a lot. Needless to say, a lot of people found her and her fans annoying. Admin replies did nothing. As Miiverse's admins were notoriously bad, it's fitting that unjust bans were rarely reconsidered. Chris Chan the legendary Chris Chan had a Miiverse account. This was complete with his signature drawings as well as some pretty bad Mario Maker levels. If you don't know who Chris Chan is, then you can go waste a few years on that rabbit hole. Air Hockey. This community basically just became an Undertale community. The shift to Undertale drawings was defended by none other than Chris. Not Chris Chan, but just Chris. Lenny Face and Miiverse ad. Nintendo released an ad in 2013 on how to use Miiverse, and it just so happened to feature a Lenny Face. French MK7 playing Yeah Bombing Weebs. I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't find a word about this. JJ's Comet. Also known as the Great Comet, it passes Earth every 2,000 years, allowing stand users and interdimensional beings to harness its power. MM2Wood. MM2Wood.mid is a MIDI created in 1996 that eventually became a big part of the SIVA Gunner lore. This drawing of Woodman from Mega Man 2 was featured on one of SIVA Gunner's album covers and would make its way over to Miiverse. Amber Day. Amber Day refers to the specific post that pays tribute to a girl named Amber, who lost her 3DS and other devices. Alan and Nicole. Alan and Nicole is a tragic love story that took place in Miiverse. The two users engage in deep conversations about love, until Nicole leaves the chat, most likely put off by Alan's personal questions. Alan doesn't take this very well. Miiverse After Dark and The Bard. I'm gonna put these two together since they pretty much go hand in hand. The Bard started the movement known as Miiverse After Dark, to where users would post lewd photos in times that Miiverse admins would likely be less active. Scarf Heroes Scarf Heroes is a group that started on Miiverse and eventually evolved into its own wiki. The group was intended to help people struggling with depression, but just ended up being known for drama. NSFW I don't think I really need to explain this one. Not a Troll Despite what his name might want you to think, he was actually a troll. Big D. Big D is an alter ego account created by Giga Gambi in order to troll the piss out of users. This included bullying and inappropriate speech, so it's not a surprise that this account got permanently banned. Banama. Banama was a clan that formed in the Panama Club for Wii Sports Club. It was comprised of new Super Luigi U memers and got its name for the frequency of bands that occurred. Colin. Dream Team Image Glitch. Mario and Luigi Dream Team featured a bug in which users can post any screenshot from their internet browser in the Dream Team community. This ended with both memes and very explicit content. NSLUC glitch during the final hours. I couldn't find anything specific about this glitch, but it makes sense that such an infamous community would break down with all the traffic on the final day. Shower Gel Shower Gel is yet another Miiverse troll, but he was particularly better at drawing than most Miiverse users. The Great Spaghetti Revolution Apparently it came from a Miiverse war. It was also a joke made in an Undertale Roblox roleplay, but I'm not 100% sure if these events are connected.
Scott the Waz MM57. YouTuber Scott the Waz let loose on his posts in the final hours of Miiverse. Absurdly breaking the code of conduct like this was known as pulling a Mario Man 57. Big Dabber. Again, I honestly don't know what this one's referring to. Blue Bird. This is how Miiverse users referred to Twitter without getting banned. Yeah, bots. It's similar to the practice of yeah bombing in that it involves giving yeahs to a bunch of posts, but the use of bots allows it to be much more efficient. Contra 3 3DS. A picture of a 3DS with Contra 3 on it was featured in Miiverse in 2013. The game wasn't on the eShop, nor was it announced that it was coming out at this time, but it would eventually release in 2016. The Miiverse Podcast. The Miiverse Podcast is a very small YouTube channel that features users who are involved in notable Miiverse dramas. The Miiverse Doggy. The Miiverse Doggy was an image created by Hannah, in which she claimed it would save people from the admins. Then the user Diglett03 made a post speaking against RP trolling using the familiar dog. The dog was dead after this. Color Comet. The color comet was featured in the lore of Luigiism created by Me King. Legend says that when this comet strikes Earth, everybody who is off topic will die. Public Mees. Public Mees were accounts that shared their passwords online so that their personal systems wouldn't be affected by bans. This allowed users from across the world to troll using these accounts, which further added to the chaos that was Meverse. Bigley's Revenge. Bigley's Revenge is the spiritual successor to Meme Run, both made by Ninja Pig Studios. The game was of a uh, similar quality, and got taken down even quicker than Meme Run. Throwing users into the trash. I'm not 100% on this explanation, but I believe it refers to users being deleted after getting a permanent ban. Makes a post in this community using my iPad Mini 2. Sadly, I couldn't find much information on this, but I found this post on Archiverse, so I assume it was just something dumb somebody said. Miiverse doesn't have its own Wikipedia article. Even though the Nintendo Network does have a Wikipedia article in which Miiverse is mentioned, there isn't a dedicated page for Miiverse. Sherry. Sherry was a pedophile on Miiverse who tried to date young boys. The weird way in which she typed honestly made this situation far more unnerving. Last NSLUC post. Apparently it was this. Splatoon politics. Honestly, there are two things I believe this could be referring to. First, it could be referring to actual American politics put in Splatoon Miiverse posts. On the other hand, it could be about how some players took the Splatfest and its results way too seriously. Me King X Derp Jacob. Both taking part in the Shaxx Day Outlaw, it was known that these two were commonly shipped together, even by Derp Jacob himself. And finally, this emoticon was the most liked post in the new Super Luigi U community. So you've made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something new. With that being said, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.